So in our first video for React Navigation 5, I gave you an intro into the Stack Navigator and how the new component-based API works. In this video, I'm just going to build on the Stack Navigator and show you some cool animations and transitions that have been built in with React Navigation 5 that you can use in your applications. For those of you that haven't seen the previous video, you can get the link in the description. And I've also added the startup project in the description so that you can continue along with this video. So we had set up two screens. One was the home screen and then there was a settings screen. Clicking on go to settings screen would take us to the settings screen. On iOS, if you try and swipe back, you'll notice that the swipe gesture works. However, on Android, if you try and swipe back, it doesn't seem to work. In order to get the gestures to work on Android, in your stack.navigator, you need to add an option. You could do that for a particular screen as well, or you could do that directly to the complete navigator. So what we'll do is here in the stack.navigator, we'll pass in screen options, which will pass through to all the children. And here we'll say gesture enabled and set that to true. Let's save that out. Let's click go to setting screen. And now let's try and swipe back. We still see that it doesn't work. So here let's pass in another flag called gesture direction and set that to horizontal. Let's save that. And now if we try it out, we see that it works. Another thing that you see by default on iOS is this floating header. If you click on go to settings screen, you notice that the header remains the same, only the title and this back button changes. Whereas on Android, when we test this out, we see we get a new header for each screen. If you want that same experience on Android, we can pass in a prop here to our stack.navigator, which is header mode and set that to float. Now, if you test this out, you'll notice that the header stays fixed and only the content changes. Next, let's talk about transition animations. As of now, iOS uses this default slide from the right animation, whereas in Android, you see that it just slides up. In React Navigation 5, we have this option of adding this transition spec. It's an object which allows us to select either a timing or a spring animation, and then we can configure the open and close animation. The open runs when the screen appears, and the close is when we press the back button or move to a previous screen. We can pass in our own configuration and create a custom animation. So here, let's copy out this config, and let me show you how we can create a nice spring animation. See here, above our export default app, let's paste in our config. Let's change this up a bit. Let's make the damping 50 and let's set the overshoot clamping to false. Now here, in our screen options, we can pass in the property transition spec. And here we can pass in open, pass in the config to it. And similarly to close, we'll pass in the same config. Now if we test this out, you'll notice that we get that spring animation. While going back, we get that animation again. In Android, because the transition is vertical, you don't really see that animation, but we'll get to that later. We could also just keep the open transition as the spring animation and change this close transition to a timing animation. See so here, let's just say const close config. The animation that we want is timing. We want to pass in the config here. Let's give it a duration of 500. And we also need to pass in an easing. We'll say easing dot linear. We have to make sure that we import an easing here. And for close, let's pass in close config. And now let's test it out. So we get that animation while opening the screen. And while going back, we just have the normal transition. So though there are a lot of options available to customize and create your own animations, as you can see here, you can use this card style interpolator. You can also animate the header by using header style interpolator. But what's cool here is that it provides us with this set of default animations. These are ready-made animations that you can use in your application. So let's have a look at how we can use these. So the main problem we're having right now is that the Android experience is this vertical transition, whereas the iOS one is horizontal. Let's see if we can implement the same on both. So come here on top and let's import in transition presets as well as card style interpolators. 
So card style interpolators will basically just animate the stack for you. Whereas transition presets is a complete solution and it should animate your header and your stack for you. Now coming down to our stack.navigator, I'm just going to comment out this transition spec and instead I'm going to pass in card style interpolators and set that to card style interpolators dot and let's try this option for horizontal iOS. Let's save that out. On iOS, we obviously have the same thing. And as you can see now that on Android, we get that same experience as well. And if we swipe back here on Android, you notice that now the back swipe works. We can also override this for horizontal iOS and use our custom transition spec. Now you can see we get that spring animation. It's horizontal even on Android and we can also swipe back. I'm just going to comment this out again. We can try out the other options, which is for reveal from bottom Android, which is what Android uses in a way. So now on iOS, you get that same experience that you're getting on Android. And I think Android, the default behavior is for fade bottom from Android. Yes, that's what it is. So as you can see, these default settings allow us to change our animations without actually creating them for ourselves. So just like we use card style interpolators, this is only for the particular card or screen. You can use transition presets, which are for the complete navigator. So here we can just pass in transition presets and suppose we're looking for slide from right iOS. Let's just save that. On iOS, it works as the default one. And on Android, again, you'll get slide from right which will look exactly like it was working on iOS. Similarly, you can make this fade from bottom Android and it should work the same on both devices. So again, this gives us a lot of customization straight out of the box with React Navigation and you can create different types of navigators depending on your application. In the next videos, we'll cover the Draw Navigator and the Tab Navigator to complete out the series on React Navigation 5.